Have you ever thought to yourself, if I could combine GPTs by OpenAI and Zapier, that would solve a lot of problems for me? Well, today we're exploring a new groundbreaking AI platform called Zapier Central, which can do just that. What I'm gonna do in this video is show you exactly what Zapier Central is, how to use it, and I'll even build a couple of demos live, which you can copy and paste for your own business. All right, so as you guys can see, I headed over to zapier.com slash central, and here they say that you can work hand in hand with a AI bots. So essentially what you can do is you can connect live data, which means that you can give the bot access to Google Sheets, Google Docs, Notion pages, and more. You can give your bot simple instructions so you can just chat with the bot and give it instructions so you don't actually have to code yourself. And you can automate your work, which means that you can set up triggers, which can trigger the AI to execute a certain task even when you're not actively chatting with it. So without any further ado, let's jump right into Zapier Central and start building some cool stuff. Essentially, when you're on the homepage, just go ahead and click Try Central today, and that's gonna bring you into your dashboard where you can immediately see that you already have an untitled bot, and it gives you a quick rundown of what is possible. So first of all, we have the Behaviors section. Behaviors are custom commands, and essentially you tell the AI what to do when a certain behavior is triggered, how to process or summarize the data, and which of the available actions to use. And if we click down here on Behaviors, you can see what it means. So currently, there's an untitled behavior in there, but if you click on Create Behavior, we can set up instructions for the AI. We can add a trigger for when these instructions should be triggered. For example, when I message the bot on a regular schedule, Google Sheets, HubSpot. In this case, I'm going to select when I message the bot. And now you can set up a specific phrase or a keyword, which will then trigger the AI and trigger the behavior. So in this case, what I'm going to do is summarize the statistics. And this is going to be our trigger. So I'm going to click on add trigger. And now this trigger has been added when I message the bot with the trigger phrase summarize the statistics. And now we can go ahead and add an action. And what we're going to do is create a new document. What you're going to have to do in this step right here is set up your Google Docs connection where you just click on connect new connection. It's going to open up a pop up window. And in this pop up window, you just need to confirm that they are allowed to access your Google Docs. Now once you've done and confirmed that connection, you are now connected. And what you can do is just set up a document name and document content. In this case, I'm going to let AI generate a value for the field based on the stats that we provide. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add action now. And now all that's left now that we have the trigger and the action set up is to set up some instructions. When I say summarize the statistics, I need you to access my Google sheet and provide a summary for the data. So those are the instructions. We're now going to go ahead and turn that on a sheet stats summary. It automatically creates the name for this behavior. We can go ahead and test that behavior. However, currently it doesn't have any data sources for this yet. So what we're going to do, add in a data source where the AI is going to be able to retrieve data. So what I've done is set up a simple chatbot statistics sample. These are real statistics from one of our clients. And as you can see, there's a ton of statistics telling me exactly how many messages were sent, how many customers support requests were resolved by AI and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on add data source and go to Google Sheets and we're going to go ahead and select the spreadsheet. Now that I've selected the spreadsheet, I'm going to go ahead and add the data source. So now when I go ahead and message the bot, summarize these statistics, it's going to go ahead and take this stuff from the data source. And as you can see, you can open up the thread and right now it's thinking it's going to take the information from this dashboard and it's going to upload it all. All right, so now we have all of this information right here, which has been summarized by the AI. And now I'm gonna go ahead and say, create a document for me. It has now created it and provided me with the link and I can access it right here where it has provided me with these statistics. So a useful use case for this is if you have, for example, company sheets, which have your weekly revenue statistics, leads generated, sales calls, closing rate percentages, etc. You can have automatic triggers, which will trigger this AI to check the sheet and summarize all of the data from a sheet into a Google Doc. Or in many cases, it would be more useful as well to actually save that into Notion or into a certain CRM you are using now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another bot right here so we can get another use case for you guys built out. We are going to start fresh right here. So what we're going to do for this new bot is to analyze a trial task which a potential employee submitted to us. So essentially they have the task of setting up a campaign for an insurance agent outreach. And what we're going to do is ask Zapier to analyze how well they completed this specific task. So we're going to go ahead and click on behaviors, click on create behavior. The instructions we're going to say when I say analyze the task 
please check the trial tasks provided to you and identify if the potential employee did a good job of completing the task. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a trigger, which is once again gonna be when I message the bot, but really you can set up anything else. Analyze the trial task is gonna be the trigger. Boom, we're gonna add that in here. Analyze the trial task. Then we're gonna set up actions where we are gonna wanna summarize this into Notion. So we're gonna do create a page in Notion. And we're gonna have the AI generate a value for this field. And now we have the instructions. We have a trigger when we say analyze the trial task and we're gonna create a page in Notion. Now obviously you can work a lot more on these instructions and go a lot more into depth. In this case, it's really just about identifying if this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on right Right now and once again we're going to give it access to the trial task which we want to analyze and we're going to do the trial task submission document we're going to add in the data source here we can go ahead and say analyze the trial task we can open up the thread and see the thread on the right hand side right here we can see it's currently running the behavior all right so now the bot has completed the task if we go ahead we can see that it analyzed the campaign setup it analyzed the instagram account rebranding the outreach message and the overall strategy now in this case it said that the employee did an excellent job. However, we did not give it a lot of context on what the trial task was. So in order to do that, we would have to go into the behavior, edit the behavior and add more in the instructions. So we could specify a good submission would include X, Y, Z, a bad submission would include and so on. So we can specify more information right there. So what we're going to do now is tell it to create a page in Notion with this information. It's going to go ahead now, create a page in Notion for the task valuation that we've done so far. And the task has been successful successfully completed. I'm going to go ahead and click the link that it sent me. And as you can see, we have a trial task analysis summary where it has all of the analysis for the trial task, right? So as you guys can see, the capabilities of what Zapier Central can do are really, really wide ranging. You can set up so many different triggers, behaviors, executions, and tasks. In my opinion, this is a game changer. We're going to have to see how GPD comes back. Maybe they have something similar planned. But for now, since Zapier is the king of automations in general, I think Zapier Central has a bright future ahead. And if you are an AI automation agency owner or business and are looking to use AI inside of your business, it is definitely worth exploring and giving a try. By the way, if you're a business owner and you need help building out custom AI solutions inside of your business, please feel free to visit our website at omnifusion.ai. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And don't forget to join our free school community at school.com slash omnifusion.